What's up guys? Welcome back. Nick up here at Maple Motors in Hendersonville, Tennessee. And today's test drive is this 1956 Chevrolet 210. And we've got a 5.7350. It looks like aluminum radiator, electric fan, a few upgraded pulleys in there. No power steering, no power brakes on this one. And also there was a spring missing on the driver's side, which I had to put a prop to hold the hood up. This one's got drum brakes all the way around. Aftermarket set of Riddler wheels custom purple paint job decent interior but there is flaws and that's why i'm here i'm going to be pointing them out for you 100 detailed pictures financing and shipping is available at maplemotors.com for now all you got to do is hit subscribe and share this video because it's about that time let's go for a ride okay looking around the interior we're going to check some stuff out place those bets do you think the horn works on this one aftermarket b&m shifter carpet's been changed out Aftermarket gauges below the dash. The seats are pretty cool looking. And they're not messed up. They look good. Your back window, the tent's got to come off. That is blurry. Your headliner looks sweet. It's not bad. Across the dash, pretty good shape. Let's start her up. She's cold right now. I'll give her a chance without giving her gas. I'm going to give her gas now. It was a column shift car. Looks like the choke's working. See the engine temperature's not up at all. Try some stuff out. Blower motor. Not working. Glove box, missing the insert to it. Aftermarket radio right there. Let's see. Well. There we go. Got the old ashtray there. Windshield wipers. I think our windshield wipers are going to need some work too. Show you the mileage showing 80,000 miles gas probably need to stop and get some horn did you place your bets we're about to try it out turn signals left side's blinking right side is also blinking let's try that horn out nope not hooked up time to hit the road see how she runs and drives okay here we go it's getting ready to take off i noticed there's no seat belts in this one got her in gear here She's just idle on the plane. A little two foot it throughout the video. Maybe once it warms up some more, we'll have a better idle. Still around a thousand, which is good. Here we go. Heading to the gas station. Good shift there. straight down the road. I'm not pulling left or right. Nice and straight. A little bit of slack in the steering. Of course, it does not have power steering, so there's going to be a little bit of slack. Getting into brakes now. Had to. So I pulled up front of it. temperature still hasn't come up on this one. I don't know if the gauge is working properly. Still give her some time. Speedometer is also not working on this one. the gas gauge is reading E so we'll see what $20 does maybe it bring it up to a quarter tank all right 
right, I'll be right back with some fuel. Okay. So you put the gas in back here behind the light. We got 25, about $25 worth of gas in here. There's where it's hidden. Let's go ahead and get out of here. All right. Looks like the gas gauge perked up a little bit, but not enough to do anything. I'm going to say it doesn't work. Let's roll. All right, let's roll out of here. Get y'all set up. Time to head back to the lot. Got some squeaky brakes. They just started squeaking pretty bad throughout the video here. Still got a little bit of a lunge to the carburetor there. Makes me want to two foot it, make sure it stays running.
This road here has got a nice little bump in the middle. Just wanting to get a good launch. So we got somebody on the side of the road up here too, so. Here's the bump. Got a little bit of shakes and rattles back here. Sounds like it's coming from the trunk area, package tray area. See how it's lungy at a low idle. If I just barely put my foot on it, that's a lot better. That's just keeping it at a thousand RPM when I let off drops down to about seven and six. You can see it on the tack here. It's staying running, but. All right, getting ready to pull back into the car a lot. I do hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit subscribe and share. I'll be right back with picking out the flaws. Okay, we're gonna walk around this ride, look for chip scratches, dents, rust, whatever there is. You'll know about it by the end of the video. Detailed pictures are on our website at maplemotors.com. Let's get started in the front here. It's coming around the front end. You do got some scratches on that painted front bumper. Little dimples. Chip there. Got there on the side. Spot there, pitting. Light here. Chips on the front end. Cracks there, coming up over. Burn your headlight. Chips. Chips in the corner. Chips there. Chips there. Up and over. Spot. Bubbles right there. A little rust popping up. Stain here. Scratch there in the door. Scuffs. Some scuffs up here too. back here some runs back that midsection a little scuff there a couple chips there on the edge of the door door handles got some light pitting on it looks like a dent here some cracks cracks up there Paint job up top with the fender. The hood here is probably the worst on the whole car. A little spot in the corner. It's cracked up. Front windshield looks good on this side. A little rust popping up above the driver's door. Some back here as well. Back window, the tent needs to come off. Bubbles there. Going up to the back here. Paint's missing off the rear bumper. Got some scuffs and scratches on it. Rear coat missing at the bottom there. Little cracks here. It's dirt. Little 
chips. Chips there. Package tray. Not too bad. Trunk lid itself. Seals okay. Of course, those edges look pretty good. They're not really messed up. Get down with the trunk lid. It's locked. Chip on the edge there. Trunk lid's sitting up high. Chip there too. Same with this side. Coming down your lower portions. Scuff there. Scratch there. Corner too. Stain in the paint, little scuff. Chip there. Up here in the front. Spot here. Back your midsection. Light scratch. I don't know if that was even popping up for the video. Door handle here's got some pitting on it. Stuff. And back. A crack there. Get some light bubbles right here. Look around the window and above the trim there. In the corner. Back little spot. Front windshield. Pretty clean, no chips. Top of the fender, a little spot there. All scuff here. Alright, we made it around the ride now. Let's go ahead and jump on the inside. Door panel on this one doesn't look bad at all. The seal looks pretty good. In the corner there. Going on down. Little bubbles. carpet in this one looks all right little stains here and there does this work it sounds like it but nothing's happening the seat looks good same with your back seat and your package tray come on light <laughs> waiting for it to adjust here it's a huge headliner. It's nice and clean. And this seat's also in good shape. This cuts on the lights underneath.
how to use this prop. Coming down with the hood. Locks pretty good, but these hinges are off here, as you can see. And that's messed up there in the corner. Around the front end. It's there. This side's a little high, too. Got it down in the corner. Guys, I appreciate you watching. I went over all the little chips and scratches and flaws on this car. Detailed pictures are on our website at maplemotors.com. And every Monday, I put down new rides. Help me out by hitting subscribe and sharing this video. I'll see you in the next one. Thanks, guys.